Well, look what I just spotted from a mile away. I had to pull in this parking lot and check out the new 2020 Supra. This thing is sick. I've been strongly considering adding a sports car to the channel. What do you guys think? Pick up a new Toyota Supra? Probably not, but. Whoa, 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 what? That's sick. How crazy is this wrap? So sick. So it's like a rainbow effect. It's called psychedelic gloss. This one's crazy. Before we do anything today, this truck is in desperate need for a little love. This thing is legit brown. And my poor bed cover is layered in dirt. So yeah, first things first, let's go get a wash. <laughs> now for the past couple of weeks, I've been playing with the idea of picking up another smaller vehicle as a daily driver so I don't have to drive this truck every single day that I don't need to. I wanna pick up a sidecar. Truck is currently costing me about 450 a month in gas. So it would be really nice to pick up something that's more efficient. Baiting on either a BMW M3 or a C-Class AMG, though I probably shouldn't get either one of those. So I probably won't. I don't know, stay tuned. I think we need something more efficient than a BMW M3 or a C-Class AMG. So yeah. In the meantime though, um, wash the truck oh yeah best believe that here at the car wash I am using my own soap and my own wash mitt And just like that, the truck is looking fantastic. So we are out of here. Next stop, Pet Boys. We are here because we need to pick up some paint. We're gonna be painting the recovery hooks on the front of the truck. So, hello Pet Boys. We have landed on the good old Trail Boss Red. The reason why I got this stuff is because we can peel it. So if we don't like it, it comes off. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Get in, we're in the middle of the street. How are you? Why didn't you just pull inside? Because your truck's too big? <laughs> I didn't want or, to... or you don't know how to drive your truck. Oh, is that right? Hmm. You hit me like that? Hmm. All right, well, let's go do some car shopping. What are we shopping for? What do you think we're shopping for? What What should we be shopping for? A Tesla. Something efficient, right? A Tesla. Uh, Tesla's a little out of the range, though. Tesla's price wise. Way, te Tesla is way too typical around here. She is. <laughs> that thing is sick. No way. So it's a 2016 smart car all electric. It's actually not as small as I thought it'd be in person. But I mean, if you're comparing it to the size of what I own now, oh my goodness. So this will be like our car, like something we both use. What do you think? You so your, your opinion matters too. Yeah, I like it. Electric drive. This thing is 100% electric, not a hybrid, not a gasser whatsoever. 100% electric. Two totally different worlds. Uh, 11 miles per gallon and I don't know how they measure electric cars in like miles per I guess miles per watts. I don't know. We are in the smart car and honestly it doesn't feel too much different than a regular car until you look behind you and there's nothing back there at all. Nothing. There's literally nothing back there. But a decent amount of trunk space for like a little uh, luggage, suitcase. I just said two words at once. Groceries, lots of groceries. Yeah, it's a grocery getter for sure. All right, ready? Three, two, one. This thing is absolutely tiny, but it's kind of weird because you don't feel like you're in a tiny car until you look behind you and there's, there's nothing back there. A lot of leg room though, right? Like a ton of leg room. Way too much for me. Check this out too. Oh, we got the sun. And we have a sunroof. This is a sick little car, isn't it? All right, so that was a very different driving experience to say the least. I, I like it. I really like it. What do you think of it? I like it too. I like it a lot. The main idea here is is it's basically free to drive. You could wrap it, wrap all the silver, leave the black. Let's see how I love driving. It probably fits me perfectly. Let's 
think about it. I have a feeling that now that I test drove a smart car, I'm gonna start seeing them everywhere, just like that one right there. Uh, but what do you know, we are out of fuel. Great timing after hopping straight out of an all electric car. Karen's no longer with us, but we do have gloss red vinyl wrap and gloss white. We're gonna redo the bow tie, starting with the gloss red to see how that looks with the red tow hooks. So we'll do that. If that does not look good, then we're going back to white because white was a really clean look. I'm kind of getting over the woodland camo look. So we are going to experiment today. Time has come for the woodland camo wrap on the bow tie to come off. I'm already kind of bored with it. Though I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. It just, it's it's a sick look. It just, it's not clean. It doesn't really flow right. So that is coming off. Just like that. And now we're gonna try gloss red on the bow tie to see how it looks. I feel like it's gonna look really sick. I feel like red and black are like, Good Chevy colors, if that makes any sense. So wrapping a bow tie is actually super, super easy. So obviously step number one is peel the backing paper off the vinyl wrap, lay it on the bow tie, starting with the center. Just kind of run it all the way through, make sure it's nice and smooth, and then just kind of get work all the air bubbles out. Pretty forgiving, you can lift it up and work it all out nice and easily. Just make sure you don't overstretch it as you shouldn't have to considering it's a pretty flat surface. The main thing with vinyl wrapping is just be patient and careful. All right, so let's go ahead and shake up our can and start spraying, well of course after we prep the surface, We'll go ahead and start painting these tow hooks with the red Plasti Dip right here. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what this product is, it is a peelable paint pretty much. So when you spray it on the surface, it dries as a vinyl wrap basically. It's a rubber-based paint. It's peelable, it's flexible, which means it won't crack. The main point of using this product is there is no true commitment. So if I don't like red, I can peel it off and try maybe a gold or a green or a blue or a yellow or whatever color that I end up committing to, I can peel it off and actually have it powder coated that color. So this is a very nice thing to trial with. So far, it's looking pretty sick. We're on to coat number two. It's been about 10 minutes, so we are ready to grab the can. Time for coat number two. Another 10 minutes have gone by, so it is time for coat number three. For the third coat to dry, let's talk about this rear end sag situation on the back of the truck. Ever since installing the two inch leveling kit in the front, it made the front end sit higher than the rear, which to me by no means, um, is no, by no means a good look whatsoever, especially when I go off roading and the exhaust pipe hits the ground. That's not good, I don't like that. So anyways, yeah, two inch block going in the back probably in the next week or two and then we'll effectively have a two inch lift all the way around, which is basically a trail boss. So, trail boss, soon to come. To be totally honest, I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling this, like, at all. The red bow tie is just not gonna happen. Just not, it's not working. Back again with the gloss white bow tie. All right, what do you guys think? White bow tie? I like white bow tie. White bow tie is nice. So it's officially been 30 minutes since the last coat of Plasti Dip has been applied. So we're officially good to go and we can start peeling off all the masking paper and tape as well as the excess dip that might be left behind. So, ooh, nice bow tie by the way. Ooh, this is gonna look so sick. not that big of a deal to do a super crazy job when masking off for a plastic dip job because any excess residue 
literally just rubs right off. Now I can tell it's still a little bit tacky, so I'm gonna wait till it dries a little bit more to get up in there in case I touch the actual tow hook. I guess we have a little bit more up there too. This came out so sick. That That's a clean look. That's how this truck should look. What do you guys think? Do we kill it? White bow tie on the red tow hooks. Probably end up actually powder coating those red eventually very soon. Along with the two inch block we're doing on the rear of the truck to bring that back end up a little bit. Man, today was a good day. We have a nice clean truck. We have a fresh white bow tie and red tow hooks. That is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching as always. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.